I'll look into the crash of Flight 751 on implementations made by the SAS Scandinavian Airlines system. Also, how does the crash relate to ethics and communication? Scandinavian Airlines Flight 751 Traveling from Stockholm to Copenhagen crashed after the failure of the engine. The crew on board, Captain Rasmussen, with officer Al Sidemark and flight attendant Ingrid Astrom, together with passenger Captain Pohombo, were responsible for crash landing the plane, resulting in zero death. The investigation. The SAIB conducted a thorough investigation through interviews with the crew and passengers, listening to recordings from within the plane, taking detailed photographs and inspecting the broken pieces of the engine. Cause of the crash. Inadequate measurements installed by the SAS to de-ice the plane and a breach in the communication process between the SAS and suppliers of the plane. The science behind the cause. Due to cause 1, a layer of ice remained on the wings of the plane that loosened when the plane took off and flew back into the engines, denting the fan blades, thus disturbing the airflow, causing a surge in both engines. Due to cause 2, the pilots had no knowledge or information on a newly introduced system in the plane. This system is known as ATR, Automatic Thrust Restoration. As Captain Rasmussen pulled back the throttle to reduce the power in an effort to stop the stage, the ATR kicked in and increased the throttle to full power, resulting in failure of both engines. The ethical and communicative reasoning for the cause of the crash. The technicians did not climb onto the top of the plane's wings to effectively check for any remaining layers of ice. Clear ice cannot be seen and a layer of ice was still left on the plane's wings due to negligence by the SAS by not providing adequate measures to remove the ice fully. Without informing the pilots about the ATR, they were not able to stop the surge of the engines and hence resulted in failure of both engines. Had they been trained to use the ATR, the crash could have been avoided. There was clearly a breach in the communication process between the SAS and the suppliers of the plane. The SAS was not informed about this new system, claiming they did not purchase the system in their planes. Ethical decisions made by the crew, which saved everyone's lives on board the SAS Flight 751. The captains continuously kept track of the emergency checklist to ensure they were doing everything that was supposed to be done to maintain a safe life. Captain Rasmussen put the lives of the passengers first by extinguishing the fire on the left engine so that it does not engulf the entire plane. Captain Pohomberg made the decision to enter the cockpit and aid Captain Rasmussen in crash landing the plane. He was also able to turn on the Power in the plane APU on the power unit. He knew his position as a passenger that day and did not take over the flight of the plane, but simply aided Captain Rasmussen. The flight attendant was also able to remain calm throughout the entire state of emergency and also comforted the passengers. She effectively communicated with the passengers in preparing them for an emergency landing. Captain Rasmussen chose to retire after the crash of SAS Flight 751. Even though he was named a hero for landing the plane with all life saved, he lost all confidence in himself and no longer trusted the aircraft. This shows a high ethical code of conduct by giving up his dream and allowing other pilots who are more equipped to handle any future emergency flights where the safety of other lives are put first. The SAS has now put in place stairs to allow the mechanics to climb and feel for any ice on the top of the wings. They have also now started training their pilots to use the ATR. The cause of the crash of SAS Flight 751 is blamed solely on the negligence of the principles of ethics and communication. Had they been implemented fully by the SAS and all persons associated with the SAS, this crash could have completely been avoided. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was informative enough and clearly showed through the importance of ethics and communication in any field and situation.